is something we live in. In order to be an authentic hip hop scholar, you have to live hip hop. Once you are living hip hop, there is nothing really to read or watch or so on. You're not gathering knowledge to learn about something. You are the knowledge itself. You are the awareness itself. In other words, your study of hip hop is to further create it. When you study hip hop, hip hop's history, you notice that you are not just reading history. Your reading of hip hop's history is hip hop's history itself. The act of you reading hip hop's history is hip hop's history. It is extremely important that when you seek to teach hip hop, you also seek to teach other hip hoppers. What does this mean? This means that the teaching of hip hop is a sacred duty. We're not trying to show everybody everything. The gospel of hip hop is an open book. But even if you read the gospel of hip hop, if you yourself are not hip hop, it's just a good read. But to be a scholar of the hip hop arts and sciences, once you become hip hop, the sciences open up to you, not as a learning as you gathering in knowledge, but the, knowledge, the learning opens up because you are further creating what you are studying. Yes, you can study the gospel. You can study other books. There's great books out there on hip hop. But ultimately, to really understand the deeper mysteries of what hip hop has to offer, you're going to have to be coming. Now let's move forward.